Tom Hanks recently entered the nepotism in Hollywood debate. After watching his son Truman grimace his way through his dad's new movie and realising the term Nepo Baby was a hot topic right now, I decided to take a look. Hello, welcome to Organic Acting. What is nepotism? Cambridge Dictionary defines nepotism as the act of using your power or influence to provide good jobs or unfair advantages for members of your own family. The term Nepo Baby has become a hot trending topic as of late after recent articles highlighted the slew of mainstream young actors who were spawned from parents in the industry. Actors like Gabriel Kane Day-Lewis, son of Daniel Day-Lewis and actress Isabella Ajani, Hannah Swinter Byrne, daughter of Tilda Swinton and playwright John Byrne, Maya Hawke, daughter of actors Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke, much of the outrage focused on this topic comes from the idea that these young performers have been given unfair advantages and essentially a leg up in the business. Stars not in their own right, but famous and working in the industry because of their parents. It's a fair point, isn't it? Yet before we can come to an informed decision, we need to take a step back into the film and television industry. Movies have always been money spinners. From the 1920s, movie studios such as MGM, Paramount and RKO realised that not only were movies big business, but their stars were as much of an appeal as the movies themselves. The stars of the day would be under contract, and each movie a vehicle for their star, carefully controlled throughout pre-production, production and release. The studios knew their products, they knew how to shape them, exhibit them, advertise them, like some fancy succulent turkey on display in the butcher's window at Christmas time. The way the film and television industry works hasn't changed much over the years. The saying, better the devil you know, is still centerpiece. Not only is there a lot of palm greasing, we're looking at you Daniel Radcliffe, but it makes sense for studios to stick with what they know. Bringing in the son or daughter of actors who've already generated a combined worldwide paycheck of $100 million is much more appealing than bringing in a complete unknown from the street. Nepotism in Hollywood is not a new phenomenon, it's part and parcel of the building blocks of the acting industry. That's the truth. In January 2023's Variety article, Tom Hanks defended the inclusion of his kids in the industry. If we were a plumbing supply business, or if we ran the florist shop down the street, the whole family would be putting in time at some point. He's not wrong. As a parent, you want your children to be involved. You want what's best for them, to guide them to a better, secure future. Furthermore, if they ask for something, and you're able, you give. If good old Chet Hanks asked his dad for a credit in his next movie, Tom's hardly gonna say, Bugger off, Chet, you smelly, sweaty little toe rag. We can't ignore the fact that nepotism and nepo babies have produced fine examples of acting in Hollywood. If it were not for nepotism, we'd have no Michael Douglas, no Robert Downey Jr., no Kiefer Sutherland. These actors not only have the pull of their names, but are also talented, charismatic and relatable performers in their own right. They have the so-called X Factor, something that goes far beyond that of their inherited name. The list goes on. Jeff Bridges, George Clooney, Jake Gyllenhaal. It could be argued that these children have learned the trade from their parents. Look at Jamie Lee Curtis inheriting the title of Scream Queen from her mother, Janet Lee. But what about the slew of contemporary young Nepo babies? We can't deny that Timothy Chalamet has not only talent, but range. He is hard working and best of all, convincing. We must recognize that John David Washington has the charisma of his father, yet is an actor in his own right. Even Bill and Alexander Skarsgård play creepy as well as their father. Nepo babies can be a positive force in the industry. If Nepo babies couldn't carry the weight of their name, we would have an industry full of individuals that had as much depth and talent as Brooklyn Beckham. Oh, oh my gosh. The undeniable aspect of the Nepo baby is that some of these cases skipped either formal arts training or the long, arduous journey from anonymity. 
It could be argued that these children of nepotism have not had to study their art, scrape money together while waiting for their next audition, spend sleepless nights waiting for their big break. The Nepo Baby is the personification of the ultimate shortcut. Take a look at Truman Hanks in 2023's A Man Called Otto. Bless the kid, but it's clear he has no idea what he's doing and looks strained and uncomfortable despite his father's advice on how to act. Even the editor of the movie is aware of Truman's lack of experience or talent, cutting away to the other performer whenever possible. We know that not only is Tom Hanks involved in the movie, but his wife Rita Wilson is also a producer. A competent actor could have breezed through Truman's role. Chances are that the filmmakers didn't even hold auditions. Perhaps this is the flaw in the Nepo baby story. Perhaps someone should just say no. Where are the real people? Seriously. The working class, streetwise, hardened, life-travelled actors. The ones with a handful of loose change and an armful of regrets and life lessons. Do the Nepo babies, jumping from crib to silver screen, have the life lessons to breathe into a character, to empathise with the set of circumstances? Perhaps I'm speaking in generalisations here, but I would much rather see the work of someone who has spent the past 10 years working in a bar, rubbing shoulders with real, alive, sentient people, while at the same time trying to earn their equity card or first screen role. Of course, I'm not suggesting that only hardened, trained actors can act. We've already seen evidence to the contrary. But there is something about manipulative power and influence, the greased palmed handshake of give my daughter a job, that leaves many of us cold. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Many of us, including yours truly, don't have a Hollywood wealthy mother or father waiting in the wings to throw us at the silver screen. The level of influence and industry connections is at times baffling. We would all love to have that kind of clout, especially if you're a broke actor down on their look. Jealousy is a common human vice. We're all guilty of it. But the fact remains, Hollywood and celebrity has always been incestuous. It's about who you know. Jobs for the boys, as it were. The partnerships, relationships and contacts keep production turning, contracts signed and money rolling in. To try to break the system apart while hiding behind the battering ram of jealousy is short-sighted. Let's look at the system as a whole, from script and pre-production, to shoot, to edit, to release, to press junket. Every step of this process is, especially in the 21st century, mired in celebrity. Projects are won and lost on the talent and names connected to the project, and even the behind-the-scenes gossip can outweigh the merits of the story being told. Generation Z, baptised on the ocean of social media, celebrity gossip and streaming entertainment, could be argued to have more interest in name and parentage than the art of acting. Perhaps the industry is loaded with the Nepo baby because this is what the new audience wants to see. A child of name, wealth and status is far more appealing than that of Mr Nobody with only 200 followers on Instagram. Perhaps storytelling is no longer the prime objective. But even this is ignoring the issue of performance. Is an actor's name a problem if the final product is strong? If the story moves us? If we are transported as an audience, that should be the final judgment. Where we celebrate moments like this and question everything that doesn't come up to scratch. Thank you for staying with me. You can find the super thanks button below. Any contributions will help me to save for a gigantic bust of Nicolas Cage's head. And who wouldn't want that? Please consider supporting the channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons as well as the bell icon. I've been Chris and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.